Hello, this is Mike Oji here. I'm going to see a video. Uh, this is going to be a review of a game I just beat like about a month ago. I think on March 14th, I believe. Somewhere in March. I think like in beginning, beginning to mid-March, I beat this game. I've been thinking of doing a review on it for quite a while, and I just and might as well just give my quick thoughts on the game. So let me play some one with the intro. This game's awesome. It's perfect. It's I love this game. I fucking love this game. This is the best game ever. It's so goddamn good. It's easy the best game ever made. I'm sorry, it is. It's great in every way possible. It gives you what you want. The combat is smooth. The gameplay, the cutscene, the character development. It's so good. It's everything I wanted in a game and more. It's everything I wanted in a game. And it delivers everything that I wanted in this game. Fake. Stuff of AF. Going off memory here because I do. I have played this game for like. So I'm going up and I did play it four years and it took me a while to beat. Like, okay, the reason I will turn to difficulty. Difficulty? I played this on normal, so. It's been hard. Yeah, if you. If you don't play the Final Fantasy game like I did, and this is your first Final Fantasy game, you're gonna have trouble with my. But without that said, I only need to work note up one time, just once, to see what I'm doing. That was only once. And I would I feel like an idiot because I. I think it was twice, actually. Oh, three times. I'm just, I had to look up. Once was for the rude, both food fights. I had to look up both of them, how to beat them. Rude, just had to switch characters, and it was for the beginning of switching characters. So I, I did not do that, so. Teach you how to do that, which is kind of clever. Have a boss fight, teach you how to switch up boss fights. And then there's another boss fight, you know, and, and that one is easy and the hardest boss in the game. Oh my god, that boss fight is so fucking hard. Oh my god, that took me ages to beat. That took me the entire year to beat. That's what got me stuck on that fucking game. <laughs> Not in a good way. It's difficult in a good way. It makes you want to be it. It's difficult in a good way. It's not like the difficulty is frustrating and makes you hate. But the difficulty is hard in a good way. It makes you want to play the game and beat it. If you do beat that, it's a satisfying thing. You beat it. The difficulty is really hard in this game. And I'm not a pro at when it comes to Final Fantasy games, so yeah, this is very, very hard game. It's extremely hard. And I know it's not one of the hardest Final Fantasy games, I know there's probably a couple harder ones out there, but this one is definitely pretty hard. <sighs> I got stuck on so many boss fights in this game. Uh, I think another one I got stuck on was the Frog. I got stuck on. I'm gonna get into spoilers about the boss fights, so. Here's five boss fights that I got stuck on. Stuck off. Okay, the final battle got stuck on. That entire fight I got stuck on. I got a tire on. The robot with Air uh, Fentina also got stuck on. I got a live stream on. Food and Xeno boss fight. I got stuck on. Set for off. Being the hardest boss fight in the game, in the final boss, even though not, it only took like 10 tries. It, it is hard, 
Don't get me wrong. It's a hard boss fight, and you gotta know what you're doing. And you're gonna die right away. Right, that's okay. But it only took me like 10 tries to beat that. That's no joke. It only took me like 10 tries to beat that thing. And, yeah. I'm not sure it was 10 tries or whatever. I think it was 10 tries. But it only took me like 10 tries to beat it. And, and, yeah. But, the boss fight that's hard is. Also, the robots. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna get a lot of robot boss fights in this game. Because are... <sighs> yeah, uh, Shima just decides to use robots a lot. Just spam using robots for robots. Yeah, I think that's a lot. Like, a lot. With that said, um. But, yeah, but the last fights are pretty easy. Uh, not, well, not easy. Some of them are easy, but a lot of them are pretty hard. And there are a few side missions that you can do in the game, but with me, I never really like side missions when it comes to video games. So I kind of skip them. I only stuck to the main story. The only side missions that I did do were the one for the material. That's literally the only side missions that I did. The couple of cat ones. But, but you know, I didn't even do the cats because. Yeah. No, I did the cat one. I did the cat one, but that one was very, very difficult. And I had no idea what it looked for these cats. I had no idea what it was going to look for these cats. These cats were very difficult to find. They were very difficult. Also, let's talk about the characters. I'm gonna talk about three, the three amigos and the four main characters of this game. I'm not gonna talk about the villains because villains. Yeah. Cloud, X Soldier, pretty interesting. This his actor does sound bored a couple of times, but I think that's just mostly do with how the dialogue's better. I, I don't know. The guy just sounds a little bit bored at times. But he's still a good character. I still think he's a alright character. He's got an interesting bad story like Ed Schroeder and flashbacks that he gets. And apparently he has a past as well of something. I don't know what his ex story is in Drink Cloud. I do not Like, there is some mystery to Cloud's story, which will probably be his name on in the world for an event like this. I'm gonna finally decide to get that PS5 at the end of this month. I'm saving up for the PS5, but starting next week and week after. And I'm gonna try to get it either this month or next month. I'm gonna try to get it before the end of the year. I am hammering to get it before the end of the year. I've been. I'm gonna try to get it this month because I have a feeling that I, I'm not gonna get it, but, but one of the very first games I'm gonna get. That's gonna be one of the first games I'm gonna get. Darren's on that too, and Cold. Anyway, this game is perfect. It's a big cloud, interesting character. If also, apparently, Cloud ship with Tifa and Eric. And yeah. How do I feel about the ships in the game? I'm more of a cloud defense person. Sue me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I I just find F a little bit annoying at times. Don't get me wrong, her character is pretty interesting. But she does come off a bit annoying at times. I don't know what is it with me and not liking characters in video games like Atreus. And... Oh yeah, I don't like Atreus. <laughs> yeah, see me on that, but I don't know. Earth has an interesting character. She's interesting. 
Well, I wouldn't say she's annoying. It's just a couple times she comes off as annoying. I don't think she's like this perfect character that everybody is making her out to be. She does. There are all a couple scenes where she does come off as a little bit annoying. It's not that bad as some other characters in video games, but she does come off a little bit annoying at times. Antifa. I basically made a meme out of her of how many times I've had to use. <laughs> uh, Tifa is pretty good. And the fighting system with Tifa is pretty good. But um, I've used the most Phoenix down on Tifa in this entire game. She dies a lot <laughs> with me. I think I've used the most Phoenix down on Tifa. With... Yeah, I use the most Phoenix down on Tifa. If not so much because she can just heal and and also the three main if you're wondering what I use for the three people I use for the fourth battle if Tifa and Cloud because if could just basically heal the entire time and that would have been so easy to win the fight it would help me so much because I would just have to heal. That's all I had to do. <laughs> yeah. I didn't take the smart route and do the clout, do Barret and do Barret and Tifa and Cloud. I did that at first, but I had to go back because I realized, yeah, that's gonna take forever. Yeah, it's gonna be very, very difficult. So I had to go back and game had it. Talk to F and Tifa, don't talk to Barrett. Oh yeah, there's a part in the end of the game where you have a chance to talk to them. And depending on who you talk to, is the people that you get and are lost. I didn't know that at first. I thought you just could talk to them. But depending on which order you talk to them, you get them in the boss. And like me, I figured out, I was like, wait. I'm just gonna talk to F and Tifa because those two have helped me out a lot through this boss. You know, a lot of boss fights. Spirit, yeah, he has his goods, but he doesn't really help. <laughs> oh, no, boss fights. All he does is just like, shoot his gun. And if F does help the most, the boss fights. And mostly because of her healing. When she heals, she heals all the moments. Tifa, she actually does have good healing capability, but not as much as Earth. Earth has is the best healer in the game. Yeah. Best healer in the game, yeah. But uh, all I can say is that this game the gameplay is perfect, and once you play with the characters and get used to the characters, it's pretty good. Now, if a bit annoying Cloud, the Tifa, does come off as... It's a good character, she is a good character, but every time that I have to use a Phoenix sound, it does get quite insane using a Phoenix sound Tifa, because how many times do I have to use it? She dies so. I. She has died so many. She is like the most out of all the characters I've played with. Phoenix out. She is like the most. Barrett. Is Barrett. Yeah, there's so much you can say about that. Um, Barrett is a very tough dude and he's very good. But he is. He's got his hearts in the right place. I'll go with that. Now let's talk about the trio, Jesse, Wedge, and Biggs. Biggs is an awesome character. I love his character, Jesse. Perfect. Uh, Wedge, that boy. Every time he's on screen, I just want to choke him. I just want to choke him. I... When he died, I was happy. I was happy when he died. I did not cry. I did not be sad and 
when I thought he was gonna die, I was like, yes, he's dead, he's dead. And then when I found out he's not dead, I was like, shit, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the jerk reactions. Like, shit, fuck, he's not dead. <laughs> Like, I think the only character that died in the game was just me. Big survived, um, Wedge dead. Oh, no. Big survived, Jesse's dead, Wedge is dead. Big survived, though. He got healed. Which makes me wonder if just me healed. Oh, dead. Yeah, who knows? Because at the end of the game, a bunch of bunch of flight comes out. Uh, also the final the final the end the final chapter in the game is easily the best chapter in the entire game. <laughs> no joke. Actually during the end of the game it's probably the best chapters in the entire game. Yeah. Yeah. Actually most of this game is pretty good. I wouldn't say I think the most scariest chapter in the game is one of the ghosts. Yeah, that one does come off as a bit dark and scary. I don't know why, it just comes off very foreboding and scary, has a scary atmosphere. One of the frauds and one of Tifa getting kidnapped um, and sold off to a guy who looks. Similar to a guy in fairy tale, I don't know why that's dirty, but he does look similar to. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, you know. But he'll spare me something. <laughs> Both outside. Uh, I do enjoy this cast. I do enjoy the cast. They're pretty interesting. They're pretty all I care about. I do enjoy them. But the only problem I have with the game. Actually, I wouldn't say there's any problems. I do enjoy the characters. When you go, when you get used to them, you get used to the falls and the stuff, it's pretty interesting. I enjoy the cast of the game. Every character is perfect. Sephoth, oh, he didn't step off. he's a pass. He is BA, overpowered. Like, there's no killing that guy. Like, there's absolutely no killing that guy. <laughs> Because of power as hell. And I can't wait to play Final Fantasy And yes, you bet your ass when we play another game series. Gameplay series. I'm excited to play that for gameplay series. That's gonna be the first PS5 gameplay series video. <laughs> I'm gonna PS5 eventually. I'm gonna try to get your best month for that month. I will try to get by the podium. I'm trying to get it. I'm sorry, it's just really expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive, so I'm gonna try to get it. I'm gonna try. I just hope the PS test doesn't come out. I'm hoping the PS test doesn't come out like the joint joint sets. I at least hope that the PS test comes out. Five, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I do enjoy it. It's perfect. I think we're gonna. But that said, this time I'll be turned off. And this game, despite its flaws, despite all the issues that I have. Some of the characters. I do enjoy this game. Once you get to know these characters and fall in love with these characters, yeah, this is easily one of the best Final Fantasy VII games. Final Fantasy VII games, even though how many times we revisit Final Fantasy VII, it's kind of ridiculous how many times we revisit Final Fantasy VII. Also, that's the most successful game. Also, I think this is probably is the most successful game. So the most copies out there. I'm not sure how much Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sold in sales. That's one. I don't have PS5. Two. 
And when I do get a PS5, it's going to be the first game I buy. This is legit going to be the first game I buy. This will be the very first game, and I'm going to buy it. Also, when someone said this is going to be my favorite game of all time, you're right. I, here's a story of what happened like four years ago when I first bought this game. Um, four years ago, like in 2020. When I first bought this game, someone said, Oh, you're gonna love this game. This is gonna be your new favorite game of all time. I don't believe you. No way. <laughs> and then, yeah, uh, what that guy says four years ago, I believe him. Yeah, it's my favorite game of all time. <laughs> this is usually one of the best Final Fantasy games. One of the best Final Fantasy games, period. It's so goddamn good. And the gameplay is perfect. Character development, good. I do love this game. It does have no value. Being one of the very first Christian games, my, being one of my very first Final Fantasy games I ever played. The only Final Fantasy game, the other Final Fantasy games I played are Final Fantasy 15, but trash. It's complete trash. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know. Final Fantasy 7 Final Fantasy 7 Union which um, is difficult yep, uh, pretty difficult I literally rage quit that game yep I rage quit that game <coughs> <coughs> what that said game is perfect. I love it. It's a good game. And with that said, it's not going to sign off. And remember, stay big Final Fantasy 7 Remake fans.